this video we're going to look at attendance from the office. Our focus is going to be on the school view attendance top tab, daily office side tab, and class office side tab. I'm in the daily office side tab and the first thing I want to do is change my field set. So make sure you're working with the twice daily attendance uh, as we will be doing twice daily attendance in our K-6 schools and this will make a little bit more sense if you have this field set applied. You'll notice some spots here. I've got a spot for name or student number, a code that's going to be the, uh, the attendance code that will be entered, show pop-up you want to have turned on because you can excuse the absence, put in any comments, change um, things from there. You can say if it's going to be for AM or PM, AM only or PM only. Uh, but primarily, when you're going to enter an attendance record through daily office, it's probably going to be for AM, PM. We'll talk more about that when we get to class office. There's a button for add, and there's also a button for multi-add. Multi-add would allow you to add attendance for many students, um, either through a snapshot or a selection. And add would also allow you to add it for a student for multiple days. So I'm going to put in a full day absence because I've gotten a phone call from Zach's parents and all this data in here is de-identified. None of these are real people. So I've got an absence. Pop-up's going to come up. It's AM, PM. I'm going to click add. If I've typed the child's name in right, it'll take me right to this spot. If it doesn't, it'll take me to a pick list to find them. Because it was absent for the full day, it's already set it to 1.0 for me. Absent in the AM, absent in the PM. I can give a reason here. You don't need to give a reason for the AM and the PM. If you know the codes, you can just start typing. So this one was an illness. Comment as well. That called. And it was excused. If you're taking these phone calls, quite often these are going to be excused absences. And if you're entering these in the morning from either email or from uh, your voicemail, you'll probably want to excuse these because when it gets to kid check later on, uh, this check mark will help you determine who you need or don't need to call. Um, you notice here it has a spot for multiple dates. That would open up another field and you can enter in the different dates from when till when. I'm just going to enter in for one day right now, hit the save button, come back here to the daily office and it shows me that record I've just put in, absence, and it's got also got an absent code for the PM. The fact that there's no excuse there is okay because this is the real key one we want for kid check is the code for the morning. It doesn't say code AM, it just says code, um, but code PM, it's good to be able to see it. And that's where that field set is important to show twice daily. If you just have the default fields, it doesn't show this and things make a little less sense is what I have noticed. Now that's how to do a full day absence. You could do a half day absence here, but when we get to class office, there's a process you can push them to the classes, uh, which is what the teachers will see and what the attendance uh, they will take is on is on classes and not daily. And if you try to push a half day absence over to the classes, it'll make them absent in both of the classes. A little confusing, definitely understand that one. Um, but if I was going to do a half day class or a half day absence, I would probably do it here. But you can do it here. So let me just show you what it would look like. So Laos is going to be absent only in the PM. I'm going to have the pop up come up because I want to put in some reasons. And you notice down here it's set it for 0.5, absent in the PM, it is excused. Uh, we've set up a funny one here, is space travel. This does not show up in the uh, the actual production environment. And going to Mars. Hit save. You notice here we've got my absence code in the PM. And there's the reason. But the teacher won't see this on the class because this is in the daily absence records, not the class absence. When the teacher goes in to do attendance, they'll still be able to take attendance for the class. And we're not able to uh, push this one out because this is the only one that we can really push out. Unfortunate, but it is true. 
Next thing in daily attendance you might do is a dismissal or arrival. You could also do late. So as kids are coming in, you can mark them down late. So maybe we'll do a late first. So I'm going to set Mr. Pigeon to late. Actually, I'm not certain what about the AM here, so let's just try it. With the show pop-up is turned on, I'm going to click add. Takes it here, portion absent is zero. Um, late is checked. It automatically fills in the time for whatever time you're doing this as. But if you were noting these down in a notebook as the kids were streaming in at uh, 9.30 or so, you can enter this in later on and make the change. So I'm just going to say it came in at 9.47 a.m. Um, don't necessarily need to have a reason for lates. And then just hit save. Next one I'm going to do is a dismissal. So if at uh, 2 o'clock parent comes in and wants to take Lawrence to an appointment, I have a spot for a dismissal. For D, this is going to be in the afternoon. Add. Use your judgment as to whether this results in a uh, portion absent or not. But this is pretty near the end of the day. So we've got a dismissal. It was at, uh, let's say it's at 2.15 p.m. And hit save. Now, if something were to happen and Lawrence's parents say, well, wait a second, we don't actually have the dentist appointment today. Go back into school. You have an option to, to change this just by clicking, and you can change any of these by clicking on their name. Click on Lawrence's name. And down at the bottom, it shows you the departure. You have an add button. You can click add, add an arrival. Lawrence came back at 2.20 p.m. Spot for excused as well. Click OK. It adds the record in so we know that Lawrence left at 2.15, turned around, came right back. And then there's a save button. Using the breadcrumbs, you can go back to your list and you can see all the information you've entered. Now, if I want to push any of these over to the class office so the teachers can quickly see or have their attendance button grayed out because we already have entered an attendance a daily office, um, daily record for them, you go to the class office. I've set my filter already, but the default for class office is you would see the entire school page by page, depending on the number of records you have. And you would see their daily absence codes and then any class absence codes that either have been pushed out or the teacher has entered them. I can change my filter to only see the attendance activity. So these records are students where there's a daily code or there's a class code, or there's both. And you notice that this daily code represents the AM only. We see a blank here for Lawrence, and that was because we had done something in the afternoon only for Lawrence. So we do need to be careful with these when we push them out, because when you push this out, it goes to both of them. So we only want to push out um, absences that are full day absences. And if you're uncertain which ones those are, you can click on them. It shows you the information about it and you can push them out. So that would be why I had suggested don't put in half day absences in the daily code. Come in directly into class office, find your student and enter the attendance record into the PM or AM class. At the end of the day, this will be converted back over to a daily code uh, within the database so that it knows 0.5 of the day was missing. Or that is our understanding of it. And that is done through a setting in the school setup, the class of daily attendance procedure. More info on that is available in your school setup document. So I'm just going to go back. Change this to attendance activity. I know this one was a full day absence. I'm going to push it using these arrows, and that's going to push it into both of the classes. So now when the teacher logs in to do their attendance, 
they'll actually already see this. They won't be able to hit the absent button because the child is absent from the office. If the child happened to be there, they will have a present button where they can change this and it will be changed here. This one I've already pushed out as you've seen. This one was a daily code that if I try to push it out, it would try to put it into both. So you wouldn't want to push that out. This one was an afternoon code. If I click on it, I can see what it was. It was a dismissal. So I don't want to push that one out. This one was a full day. I do want to push this one out. And this late, I don't want to push out. Wouldn't need to do that. So you could work only in the class office as well to do your attendance. As you received a phone call, you could look through the pages to go to who it is you want to find and enter a daily attendance record in for them there. And I actually want read. It looks a little bit different. Daily absence 1.0. Uh, it's going to be excused. And this one is also an illness. Scroll down, hit save. You notice here I'm leaving the absent PM off because it will still register as a full day absent. You can check off the PM and excused. Hit save. Screen refreshes. I can push it out because I know it's a full day absence. The teacher will now see that they're absent for the full day. They should be able to see the daily code as well. But this is what will affect their ability to take the attendance, their buttons. And we'll go have a look at that here shortly. If the parent called in and said that the student will be missing for just the morning or just the afternoon, you wouldn't necessarily need to fill in the daily code. You go right to the class, and I'm going to go to find Mrs. Billings. <coughs> and update the class attendance. So if Sukhsvir is going to be missing the morning, and it's excused, because they have an appointment. Now the teacher will see it when they go to see attendance, and at the end of the day this should convert to a half day absence uh, in the daily uh, attendance record. Next we're going to look at what the teacher sees. Now I switched over to the staff view, and the staff member can go down here into their classes, their AM attendance, click on their list, and I can see the daily attendance records, AM and PM, that have been entered at the office. And the ones that I've pushed out for the AM have already been shown up here, and I don't have the ability to click on the absence because they're already absent. If the child did show up, it hit present, and her instructions to the teacher would be speak with the office because there's obviously a discrepancy. That has occurred. Again, we had selected absent excused for this class only, not the daily, daily record. Then you can see down here I've got a few others. And then if I had a student that was missing on top of this, the teacher can go and do their attendance and hit post. Important thing for this is anything in the AM attendance that the teacher enters won't have an excuse. Excuses need to be communicated to the office because these are unexcused absences and they will show up on your class call report for kid check. I can go look at PM either by going back to the pages and click PM or I can go to my next attendance course which is the PM and you can see I still have those daily records that the office had done there's no class attendance because this, or sorry, those ones I did for AM don't show up here because that was AM, this is PM. And these students are absent. We don't do kid check in the afternoon, but we do do attendance in the afternoon. Twice daily attendance. So that's a quick look at twice daily attendance from the daily office side tab and the class office side tab for an AMPM school, which would be K to 6.